there are several ways to set up the camera to follow the player. Each one of these methods has its own benefits and drawbacks. Let's go over and analyze each one. The first approach, and the fastest way to get your camera working, is by creating a camera 2D node as a child of your player's node, in your world scene. This works well for small games, quick prototyping, or if you don't have programming knowledge. To set up the camera, go to your world scene, select your player node, and click the little plus icon at the top of the panel. In the search bar, type camera and select the camera 2D node. Then, configure the camera properties to suit your game. This approach is fine while the player node exists in the scene. But in some cases, you might want to remove it, such as when the player dies. Once the player node is deleted, the camera is also deleted, leaving your game stuck in the last location of the camera. The second way you can set up the camera is by using a Remote Transform 2D node. The Remote Transform 2D node updates the transform of a target object. In this case, it updates the camera's position based on the player's movement. Here are the steps to implement this approach. Create a camera 2D node in your main world scene. Attach a Remote Transform 2D node as a child of your player instance. Finally, Drag the camera 2D node to a property called Remote Path found in the Remote Transform 2D's inspector panel. If the player node is removed, only the Remote Transform 2D node is removed with it, while the camera node stays bound to the world scene. The third approach is to use a script and implement the camera movement yourself. This approach is the most advanced. It gives you complete control over your camera and decouples the camera node from the player node. Using a script to move the camera is a good option for cases like single axis tracking or custom camera movement. Let's implement a custom script for the camera. Add a script to the camera 2D node and give it a descriptive name. Something like custom camera 2D will be good. Next, we need an object that the camera will follow. Later on, we will set the player as that object. Create an exported variable with a node 2D type, and call it target. In the process method, update the camera's position, based on the position of the target. Now, select the camera node from the scene tree. In the inspector panel, you will notice the exported variable we just defined. Finally, drag the player node from the scene tree into the target field in the inspector. You now have a functioning camera that follows the player. If you want to implement custom camera movement, all you need to do is change the code in the process method in the camera script. I will see you in the next one.